So is she an enlightened mom or a really bad one? A New York City mother and her son are smack in the middle of a controversy because she let her nine, then nine-year-old boy ride the New York City subway by himself. Here's NBC's Mike Taibbi. He's a kid in the news who gets questions from strangers. How did you like taking the subway by yourself? Yeah, it was good. Izzy Skenazy, whose mom Lenore saw him as a New York City kid about to turn 10 going on 20. Izzy would like to drive a Ferrari, smoke a cigar. Have a and, martini. And, yeah, if he could. <laughs> yeah. So this was the one I was letting him do. Letting him because for weeks on end, he wouldn't stop pestering her. So I kept on asking, my mom looked, can I go by myself? Can I go by myself? So a few weeks ago, mother and son split up after a shopping trip to Bloomingdale's. And the kid, armed with a subway map, a fare card, and 20 bucks just in case, boarded the downtown Lexington Avenue number 6 train for home. Now, there have been times in New York's both rich and sordid history. The early 1990s, with 2,000 murders a year come to mind, when this sort of a trip by a boy so young would have been roundly criticized by many. That was then. Were you nervous that day? No. Not, not at all. all? Not at all. Not a little bit? No. Times are back to 1963. It's safe. It's, it's a great time to be a kid in the city. In fact, one recent statistical survey places New York right at the top of the list of the safest American cities, right up there with Provo, Utah. They may not have subways there, but even knowing which bus to take anywhere is an unmistakable coming-of-age sign for a kid by himself, if his mom lets him. For today, Mike Taibbi, NBC News, New York. Lenore Skenazy is here now with her son, her 10-year-old son, Izzy, and also joining us this morning is psychologist Dr. Ruth Peters. She is a uh, Today contributor. Good morning to all of you. Hi. You're a columnist for the, for the New York Sun, so yes. you wrote about this, which yeah, is why yeah, everyone know, knows about it. Now, <laughs> what, are you, do you regret writing about it? No. Actually, I'm really happy about it because I've been told by so many people, the ones who aren't castigating me as crazy and, And who you think know, you should, you know, be tried for <laughs> child, child abuse, abuse, right? Yeah. The ones who aren't telling me that are all regaling me, as were the cameramen here today about the first time they took the subway and for most people it's a great happy memory people love that independence did you decide to let your son Izzy do this because he was nagging yes. you or, or was that the only reason or did you actually think that you wanted to give him an independent opportunity what was your plan he nagged me for an independent opportunity and this seemed great I mean we went to Bloomingdale so that I could drop him off I mean I left him there right. in the handbag department thinking this will be fun and he had his subway map and we talked about it beforehand and you know, here he is. To, you live to tell the tale. But, but you know, <laughs> here's the question I have. I mean, mm -hmm. you, we, we guess that children at this age, he was then nine, you know, don't have mm -hmm. the ability to sort of deal with all the things mm -hmm. that could come out at them. Well, I know you're not shaking your head. What do you think, Doc? Well, he, he may have the ability, but we're not, we can't control who's around him, all right? And so I'm not so much uh, concerned that he's going to be abducted at that moment, but there's a lot of people who would rough him up. There's some bullies and things like that. And I think that this could have been, you could have gotten the same experience in a safer manner. Right, well, let me ask you about that. Right, what is a safe, the same experience is going on the subway, and, and, and that is safe. It's safe to go on the subway. It's safe to be a kid. It's actually safe to ride your bike on the streets. We're, like, brainwashed because of all the stories we hear that it isn't safe, you, you, but, but those are the exceptions. That's why they make it to the news. This is like boy boils egg. I mean, he did something that any nine-year-old could do. You, you basically quote in your article all mm -hmm. the evidence that, in fact, the idea of abduction is a very okay. rare event, it's that any kind of negative rare. experience is and a relatively you, you rare thing. I mean, people wonder, like, how would you live with yourself if something happened? It would be horrible, and I don't know. But you can't live your life that way because it, what you, you could what do you in the think? shower. What I do think, you think? I think that it's a really easy, simple thing to get home. You don't think it's that hard? No. You weren't scared at all? No. What did you think about your mom letting you have this opportunity? I was like, finally. <laughs> finally. Okay, so but what did it make you feel when you did it, when you got um, home? Uh, I don't know. You felt good. Oh, yeah. Because okay. right. one of the things you point out, um, uh, Lenore, is that you say the problem is that this everything is dangerous outlook is mm -hmm. that overprotectiveness is a danger in itself. Right. A child who thinks he can't do anything on his own eventually can't. Right. Well, I just think about like all the college kids who are still sending their essays home to be edited by their parents. And I talked to one lady whose daughter sends her pictures when she's trying on clothes. Mom, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? I mean, at some point you have to like let go and live your but, life. But some people, right. look, there are things on the subway I don't even want to see. I want my kid to see it, especially at the age of nine. And I, I worry that that's going to cause some potential cycle. What do you think? Well, I don't think this is just about the subway. I think it's a difference of opinion of mm -hmm. when is a child able to have these independent activities and my thought on it is is that it's 
it's not just the child, it's the other environment. If you can do something more safely, it's just more appropriate. And I, I think what's more relevant toward independence is, can you get yourself up, can you make your breakfast, can you be ready for school, and can you put your dirty clothes in the hamper and put your clothes away? Really no, quickly? no, no, no. Okay, no. well, maybe that's the toward independence. Okay. We could go on, because this topic, I think, that touches a lot of nerves. But we've got to go. Well, I, I, I wish you luck. Oh, wish thanks. you luck. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Gazi, and thanks so much, Doc Thank Peters, for letting us uh, get your perspective on all of this. And I think this is going to be continued. I think